Hey, have you heard about Zapata Air Scooter? It's part of the cool new wave of air cabs that's expected to rake in a massive $31 billion by 2030. This thing is like a personal flying vehicle dream come true. It can zoom at speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour and fly for a solid two hours on just one refuel. And get this, it can carry up to 120 kilograms. The prototype even made an appearance at the Viva Technology Show in Paris. It's definitely one of the most intriguing projects out there right now. Check out the Natsini EV Tall Aircraft. It's like a futuristic electric car, but with wings. This bad boy can seat five people and travel up to 300 kilometers on a single charge. It's still in the early stages, but the creators are super pumped and talking to investors about making it a reality. And guess what? They even showed it off at the Shenzhen International UAV Expo. How cool is that? Plus, since it's electric, it's eco-friendly and way quieter than regular planes. I can't wait to see this thing take off. Have you heard about Orbital Reef? It's the new space station that NASA is cooking up with some help from Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. The International Space Station is set to retire soon, but NASA's got big plans for the future. Orbital Reef will be like a fancy hotel in space, with room for up to 10 people. They're aiming to have it up and running by 2027, and it's going to be a hub for experiments, research, and even space tourism. But hey, all this cool stuff comes with a price tag of around $10 billion. Space ain't cheap, you know? Now check out this crazy idea called AstroStorm. It's all about setting up a base on the moon. Can you believe it? The moon's got tons of valuable stuff like titanium, aluminum, and even helium-3. And get this, they're talking about using solar power from lunar power plants in space. It's like sci-fi stuff, right? But they're serious about it, and it's making waves at the Space Resources Week in Luxembourg. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have a lunar outpost mining all those moon goodies. Check out the Zytruck, this crazy, futuristic motorhome that's like something out of a sci-fi movie. And get this, it's not just a concept, it's a real deal. They took a military truck and pimped it up with this awesome camper. The Zytruck's got a 6x6 man kit chassis and a powerful Majerus Deutz Viv 10 engine. So smooth journeys are guaranteed. And guess what? There's a fully equipped kitchen and media center for chilling during rest stops. It's like a home on wheels. But wait, there's more. The Zytruck is not just for fun. It's part of the Voices of Humanity projects. The team travels, engaging with locals, asking questions, and sharing their stories on the website. It's like an adventure with a purpose. All right, let's dive into France's awesome offering, the Blue Shark. At Euronaval 2022, they wowed everyone with this stealth ship concept. It's not your average frigate, oh no! This baby comes equipped with about 20 tech tricks up its sleeve to cut CO2 emissions in half. That means it's not only fast, discreet, and tough in combat, but also environment-friendly. Talk about a win-win! The Blue Shark's a true naval force with offensive and defensive weapons, and get this, it's a drone paradise. Aerial underwater surface drones, you name it, they've got it. This ship is ready to roam the seas for months, handling rough waves like a champ with its stabilized multi-hull profile. Plus, it's got a 160 meter length, about 37 meters wide, and weighs a whopping 5,500 tons. Check out this virtual space tourism flight. We've already chatted about space tourism, right? Virgin Galactic's got those fancy tickets for a hefty $450,000. Yikes. But don't sweat it. There's an awesome alternative. Worldview's got you covered, and it's just $50,000 for even cooler features. Here's the catch. Their space tourists hop aboard a helium balloon, so the ride takes a bit longer than Virgin Galactic's. But guess what? It's not a downside at all. It's actually pretty rad because they launch from places like the Grand Canyon and the Great Barrier Reef. How epic is that? The capsule can fit eight tourists and two crew members soaring up to 100,000 feet. It's more like a stratospheric trip than a full-blown space flight, but hey, it's cheaper and ready to rock in 2024. Check out this cool plane. The Comac ARJ-21, it's China's first ever jet airliner designed from scratch by their awesome designers. They wanted a regional flight beast with around 75 to 100 passengers and they absolutely nailed it. Nowadays, Air China proudly flies the ARJ-21. It's got different versions. Some can go as far as 20-50 miles and carry up to 105 passengers. Talk about packing a punch. 
this modified ARJ21 even snagged the International Red Dot Design Award. But wait, there's more! It's a medical airplane too, super flexible for various tasks with its modular equipment. The built-in operating system displays patient data, and they've set up the lighting and colors to keep patients relaxed and confident during the rescue. The Mars Habitat Project has some wild ideas on where we'd live if that ever happens. They rocked a NASA competition with their genius concept. Here's the deal. They'd send robots to Mars first, and guess what? They'd use Martian regolith to make an outer shell. Then, when we humans land, we'd set up these rad inflatable shells for living and working spaces. I know, it sounds like stuff from sci-fi movies, but people have been geeking out about living on Mars for ages. Elon Musk is all pumped up, and he's aiming for Mars by 2029. All right, buckle up for IFO, the identified flying object. It's the latest mind-blowing concept from Lazzarini Design, the aerospace hotshots you probably know by now. They're all about out-of-this-world projects, and today's treat is a flying saucer in our video. Picture this, a rad electric ride for vertical takeoff and landing, zooming at a sweet 120 miles per hour. The cabin's 6.6 .6 feet wide, giving you a whole hour of airtime. And here's the kicker, if things get dicey, the passenger pod breaks away and glides down on parachutes. How awesome is that?